The magnets are gigantic. They're basically shaped like a pill. In cow farmer language, we would say a bolus. Uh, I don't really know why that's the jargon we use. Uh, a bolus can be a pill. Uh, it can be the actual wad of cud when they're chewing it, like the way they shape it into a circle is a bolus. I remember, I think it was in health class in high school, our teacher made us do this exercise where we, where we chewed a bunch of saltines and, and he made us then like pretend we were going to swallow them but spit them out instead so that we could see that our tongue formed the saltines into a ball before we swallowed them. That's also called a bolus, like when you have chewed up food and you're going to swallow it, like the shape that you put it in is, is called a bolus. So, so this is a magnet bolus. Anyway, it's a magnet. It's gigantic. It's actually pretty strong. <laughs> a lot stronger than you might expect, but I mean, they're pretty good sized. Uh, they're not very expensive. Whoops. A couple dollars. Um, and what do they do? They prevent hardware disease. And what the heck is hardware disease? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's when a cow eats something metal, you know, a piece of hardware. And as you might imagine, something metal may be sharp and pointy. And as it travels down the digestive tract, you are closer and closer to getting in trouble. Um, so poking a hole in the digestive tract usually means pain, a uh, pretty serious infection, and one of the problems with cows is sometimes it's hard to know. Something internal like that where there's not a lot of external signs, uh, you might not know that something's wrong until it's really starting to affect her health, and, and by then it might be too late to do much about it. You might have a lot of infection going on. They call it peritonitis because the, the peritoneum is is the the lining of your whole gut, right? You know, people can get peritonitis too. You know, most of the things I talk about with cows, people can get it too. It might just not be as common in people uh, for various reasons. Some stuff people don't really get. People don't get hardware disease. We generally avoid eating sharp pointy objects. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it doesn't really happen often enough that we have a special name for it. Fortunately with cows, they eat all sorts of weird crap they shouldn't be eating because cows are super curious, they love to lick everything, and they rarely chew before they swallow. And we'll get back to that in a minute. But anyway, cow swallows something sharp and pointy. So when it's floating around in the first stomach, not too much going on, but as it travels through the next three stomachs, the smaller compartments and maybe even into the intestine, um, it gets not only into a smaller and smaller space, so it's more likely to poke a hole, but especially in those last couple stomachs, it's very close to the heart and lungs. And what you really don't want is a piece of metal poking a hole right next to or even into the heart or the lungs. That's when you can get really quick, serious problems. So. There are some symptoms you might notice in a cow right away that tell you she might uh, have hardware disease. If she's kicking at her stomach, if she's acting like she's in a lot of pain in her gut, or if she's getting a lot of fluid retention, uh, called edema, swelling, up in her front, between her front legs, that's a sign of heart failure. So at that point, uh, if your cow's never had a magnet before, you can give her a magnet. Hopefully the magnet, as it travels, will pull the piece of metal out of the lining of her digestive tract and take it along with it. It'll settle right in the bottom of that uh, third stomach, the reticulum, and it'll settle there and it will stay there with metal attached for the whole rest of her life. It'll pick up any little bits of metal that she swallows for the rest of her life. Um, and then, of course, you're probably going to have to do a lot of supportive therapy for her. You're going to have to give her antibiotics. You're going to have to give her, you know, maybe some steroids. Try to help her get over the trauma that's already occurred. But a lot of farmers, including me, just start giving cows, when they're six months old, they get a magnet, no matter what. And then they have it, and hopefully they never get to the point where they have little bits of metal poking holes in them. They never get hardware disease to begin with, because as they eat stuff, 
it travels through, it gets caught on the magnet, hopefully it stays in that safest place possible, the, reticli <clears throat> the reticulum. <sighs> Sorry, I'm definitely going to have a really long video, well, maybe not really long, but a really exciting video on a cow's digestive system because it's pretty much the coolest thing ever. I mean, four stomachs, come on. And they can eat grass and turn it into steak. Talk about a superpower. It's a pretty amazing system. Anyway, so the third stomach, the reticulum, is going to hold on to the magnet. The whole point of it, you know, it evolved to help catch foreign material that they, that they, they eat. It's, you know, one of its purposes. We're just helping it out by taking some of the most dangerous stuff they might eat and really making sure that it doesn't go anywhere and it just stays right there where it, where it belongs. So, you know, even if a cow never has hardware disease, um, say you have an older cow that, that dies and you do an autopsy. I always, and most, most people who do it, just for fun, go check her magnet. And sure enough, you will find all sorts of little rusted up stuff stuck onto it. You find it in cows that have lived long, healthy lives. They have stuff on it because cows eat random crap. I'm going to give Miss Artist a magnet to prevent hardware disease. We're going to use this, which is called a bolus gun. So you stick it in here, and you do that. So that's how you get them to eat the pill without having to put your entire arm down their throat. So, shoot, can you go to the other side? I'm right-handed. So cows don't have any teeth on the top of their mouth. So if I do this, I can't get bit or anything. And you just very gently sort of feel. If you've ever had to get your pills or your pets to swallow a pill they don't like, you'll know how hard it can be sometimes, especially animals like cats that don't listen to you. Now imagine they weigh 1,500 pounds. There we go. Good girl. Now, if I didn't do it right, she can spit it back up. All right, I think we did it. Awesome. I'm gonna go wash my hands.